Hey, what's going on, uh, my fellow uh, collectors in the YouTube community? What's popping? It's your boy Mike Son 007. What you guys are looking at is something you guys can never tell nobody. Uh, make sure you don't tell anybody about this. Keep it between yourself, or you might just get hurt. This is top secret, y'all. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You know, you gotta be very, very careful with this. Do not leak this information out. These are pictures that the man don't want you to see. <laughs> You know, you got here uh, a security guard zombie. You got to be very, very careful with this, y'all. You can't let nobody see it. You know, this is subject, this is subject 05, and he's in West Take Village, California, USA, so be careful. Has another one of a doctor that became an experiment himself, and this is in the morgue. Be very careful with that. And then last but not least, this guy right here, y'all, you know, um, oh my God, this is Patient Zero. Sideshow's done different versions of Patient Zero. They've also did a Patient Zero, I think, um, bust also. This is one of the coolest zombies. That's probably why they concentrated on that. So these photos, you know, are very, very rare, man. You guys got to be very careful with that. Do not tell nobody about that. And this is like a magazine. It doesn't open up. It's just a piece of cardboard. And it says John's Defense Weekly. So technically this guy's like uh, some kind of executive for like some kind of like, um, you know, Homeland Security type thing or umbrella or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, this is a suitcase. You know, I like the fact that they actually open up the suitcase and you can actually put all this stuff. You can actually put the files and stuff in here. I thought that was real cool. You know, I love the, I love the Sideshow Zombies. This is basically... Right before they really, really start going, you know, doing better um, figures with their Star Wars and other side show line. Um, I like, I always thought this piece was um, hot. I didn't have it, but I always wanted him. But the price for him was a little, you know, was was a little crazy uh, back then. You know, let me see if I can just, ah, okay, anyway. And he also comes with a set of handcuffs. Technically, you know, the handcuffs are, you know, has blood on it and, it's tarnished from age and time because it's been on his hand forever, and it's actually supposed supposed to be handcuffed, it's supposed to be handcuffed to the handle here, and then this goes around his wrist. Uh, and again, this is subject 560, location classified, case number 12070530010. With all the lines that Sideshow's doing, I never understood why they stopped doing the, uh, the zombie deadline. Um, I think they should bring these figures back. Especially now, since everybody's doing a lot of kit bashing with uh, the Walking Dead figures. Um, this is a piece I definitely, definitely think they should bring back, man. Without a benefit of the doubt, um, they should bring these pieces back. Um, the sculpture on this is off the hook. Like, I mean, look at the sunken head and... You know how like all of me, I mean he's like, you know, he's been, you could, this dude's been walking around for over a year. You could tell because, you know, like um, the tissue's missing from his nose, you know, um, his jaw, his jaw line, cheekbones and everything is just sunken in. He's basically like a walking, talking, decomposed body. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to add some more gore and stuff to him, make it a little bit more glossier and I'm going to stain his teeth better like i'm gonna add like green like green goo and stuff in there to give it like you know give it more of a nastier look um and i'm gonna add him to my other two um zombies up here you know put him you know with these guys um this is a great piece though man for anybody out there who who likes the uh the zombie pieces and stuff and I know for anybody out there who's definitely doing like Kit Bash and uh, you know Rick Rhymes and other Walking Dead figures, this is actually a sleeve, and the sleeve actually comes off. And when you take the sleeve off, it's just basically the same thing, but a window box of you seeing the figure. I definitely hope Sideshow um, bring these pieces back. Um, this is um. This is a part of that collection they should have never let go. You know, people love zombie movies. And again, you know, with The Walking Dead and stuff being so popular, it would only make sense for them to bring this particular piece back. Um, I don't have any qualms with it because it's it's a piece that, that's not based on a movie or anything. So I think everything's up to par. I think the articulation could have been slightly better. So hopefully they do redo the zombie figures. They'll make it with the same kind of articulation they do most of the figures with now. So other than that, peace, love, and hair grease, and thanks for watching, you guys, and enjoy one.